Welcome back grade 11s. This is the third video and in this video we are going to discuss a mixed example where we consider static as well as kinetic friction. So the example says a box with a mass of two kgs rests on a horizontal surface. Calculate the maximum static friction if mu s is 0 0.4. So the coefficient of static friction is 0.4. The coefficient of kinetic friction if the box moves with a constant velocity when a force of six newtons is applied. To solve the problem, let's draw a sketch to represent the situation. So here we have a box that's got a weight, Fg, which can be calculated by multiplying mass by the gravitational acceleration. So it's two times uh, 9.8, which gives us 19.6 Newton. Now, the, if the applied force is horizontal to the surface, then the normal force would equal the uh, gravitational force. So the normal force would be 19.6 Newton. They gave us that the box is initially stationary. So the, if the frictional force would be uh, static friction. They also tell us that the coefficient of static friction is 0 0.4. Now, this value is calculated when the frictional force is a maximum static friction. So in the first example, A, question A, they want us to calculate the maximum static friction, if is max. And the equation is that it is mu s, times the normal force. We have calculated the normal force to be 19.6 and mu s is 0 0.4. So the maximum static friction is 0.4 times 19.6, which is 7.84 Newton. Number B, they want the coefficient of kinetic friction if the applied force is now six newtons. Please note that the applied force now is smaller than the applied force in the case above in A. Because once the object starts moving, you need less force acting on the object to keep it moving. The weight of the object will still be 19.6 Newtons and the normal force therefore would also still be 19.6 Newtons. Now the friction would be a kinetic friction. Now, if the box moves with a constant velocity, it means that the kinetic friction would be equal in size to the applied force because the net force in the horizontal direction is zero. So the kinetic friction would be six Newtons. So to calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction, we need the ratio between the kinetic force and the normal force, which is six divided by 19.6. Six divided by 19.6 gives us an answer of 0 0.306, which we could round off to 0 0.31. So important things here to note is that the, um, the maximum static friction would be equal to the applied force. 
when the object is not moving or just before it starts moving. And that if there is a constant velocity, the motion is a constant velocity motion, then the applied force and the friction, kinetic friction, would also be equal in size. Thank you for watching the video. The fourth video will consider the last question in this series of videos. Have a great day.